to the Pro Wrestling Report Feedback Friday. Hashtag Feedback Friday. Of course, brought to you by ProWrestlingTees.com, which last week announced their all-new Andre the Giant line of T-shirts. You can see them all right now at ProWrestlingTees.com. And as a matter of fact, David Hero, right now as well at ProWrestlingTees.com, the official PWR shop is open. It's open. You can get your PWR merchandise, including the all-new endorsed Nelson Family T-shirt. There's a new endorsement? There's another new one, yes. I haven't seen that I'm one. I'm like John Cena. I keep coming out with shirt after shirt after shirt after shirt. Or Fruity Pebbles. John Cena. Yes. I don't eat cereal. If I do, it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I've heard that about you. That's what Kate Rocks tells me. In this show, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about your comments, your feedback from the previous week's episodes, and let's get right down to it, as, long as, find, as well as finding out who's going to win a free t-shirt courtesy of ProWrestlingTees.com this week. Firstly, uh, comments on last week's Feedback Friday. The first one comes from JMac, is the user on YouTube, who says, and I quote. Is that Johnny Mac? Could be. And I quote, people cheer for Daniel Bryan because he added a character to his amazing in-ring ability. And people also wanted someone new to get behind. I think the work he did with Kane is overlooked. People invested more in his character during this tag team days with Kane. And that character connection with the fans is what I believed helped him take that next step to being a main event talent. That, of course, in response to the comments you made about the fact that people only cheer for Daniel Bryan and he's only popular because there's no one else. Well, there is no for. one else, really. I mean, it's, it's easy to chant yes, and I've been saying that for weeks, if not for months. But, you know, he did grow into a character with Kane. Hug it out. Uh, you know, Team but, hell no. But I like that this point was made because I had forgotten how successful that run was, Team Hell No. Because it really did establish Daniel Bryan as a character. They were a solid tag team, tag team champions. Uh, but the, the, their ability was great, but their character development between and the Kane two for Kane as well. And Kane had a lot to do with that. Kane's been, Kane's Kane been around for a long time. Kane had a ton to do with that, of course. absolutely. He took but Daniel he was Bryan not a man alone under his in ring. ring. Or in those promos, or with Dr. Shelby. Daniel Bryan deserves a ton of credit for he does. what he did. But in Kane those. was there also. And you're not acknowledging because that. Because the question in the comment wasn't about Kane. It was about Daniel Bryan's popularity. But I'm popularity. giving feedback on the question. Luis Carlos. Mm-hmm. You Goldie? Can we go with that? Uh, says this, uh, and I quote, What Hero fails to see is that the WrestleMania crowd and the crowds the next two nights on Raw and SmackDown are always smarky crowds. Of course, they will know who Sting is. Last week we talked about... First of all, wait, I don't fail to see anything. First of all, we're talking about the at-home audience, the people that are going to buy it, the people that are going to be on the network. You didn't make that point last week. Well, you said no one's going to recognize Sting. Most people won't, especially if he's in a T-shirt. Does it help, though? <laughs> he won't wrestle with, well, he might. Uh, does it help, though, that, much like when Brock Lesnar came back in Miami, the audience reaction caused the fans at home to realize that that was somebody and something well, and they got as equally excited. That's why they do certain things in certain towns on certain shows because they, they need the TV audience to help teach the at-home audience. They need the live event audience to teach the at-home audience what's going on. So to that point then, if Sting were to debut in WWE the night after WrestleMania, that might be their best option to do so because of the crowd reaction that he would get because people would recognize him. They have a better chance of people recognizing him, yes. I believe firmly that in any arena, in any city, especially down south, people will immediately Why is recognize it down south? Sting. WCW was based out of Atlanta. Right. They were a southern territory before uh, going national. Yes. Sting wrestled in world-class championship wrestling before going national. World-class. Was he in WCCW? I thought he was. He was in Mid-South. Well, same thing. Down south. Is not the same down thing. Down south. The yes. South is the South. Yes. Are there two different Souths? He was Souths? the Ultimate Warrior's former tag team partner. The Dingo the Blade Warriors. The Blade Runners. Blade Runner. Who's the Dingo Warrior? The Dingo Warrior was the Ultimate Warrior before he was the Ultimate Warrior. But he was the Dingo Warrior in the Blade Runners. No, he was That's Rock. not fair to Flair. Next comes from Javante Jones. Is that like the Javante with Jodeci? No, Javante saying. I don't, it's I actually Javante. I don't listen to that. I'm sorry. You're not familiar with Casey and JoJo, Jodeci? No. Why don't, no. Really? Why would I? Why wouldn't you be? They grew. They were coming up around the same time we were. You know, you have to hold hands before you can dance. Javante says this, uh, and I quote, Why do you keep referencing to CM Punk as Mr. Brooks? 
Is Chris Jericho not Chris Jericho anymore? Was Hulk Hogan credited as Terry Bollea on, as, on Hogan Knows Best? Last week I heard Damian talking about how CM Punk was a WWE name, but that is false. He was CM Punk in Ring of Honor. I frankly believe he should still be called CM Punk. This because, is Javante Jones talking? Yes. Right? Because if you're a you wrestling fan, well, 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 it doesn't make sense to refer to him by his real name. Tell Javante to rewind a couple weeks when we... Close the door on CM Punk. That's why we chose to start referring to him as Mr. Bur yeah, Brooks. Exactly. Because we closed the door and, on CM and, Punk. And, and, and last time I checked, it's kind of our show. But also, if you happen to catch CM Punk on The Talking Dead a couple of weeks ago, how was he tagged and how did he introduce himself? Phil Brooks. When we met CM Punk a couple of years back for the first time ever, how did he introduce himself to us Phil. at the height of his popularity? Phil. So At a social event. <laughs> Uh, it was the wedding of all weddings in Chicago. Uh, it was, yes. Yes. So that is why he is now C. Uh, and he was anti-social at a social event. <laughs> did I say that out loud? I, I had good conversations with him that night. Did you? I did. About what? Uh, well, I'm not going to say it on air. Okay. I didn't. Next comment on last Friday's Feedback Friday comes from Flash Arrow on YouTube. Uh, uh, you know what? I kind of like this name. Says, uh, and I quote, Cena was forced to come back from injury earlier because Daniel Bryan solo was not selling tickets. Damian Nelson, spelled wrong, is just a Bryan fanboy. You're just a fan, nothing more, nothing less, so stop acting like your opinion means anything. I don't know, last time I- Should I just leave? No, because you signed the checks. You're more than a fan. Hmm. You're- Now, you're, speaking of signing the checks, I, and, and, and uh, I, I do have, I reprimanded you and I questioned you on this on the Double D podcast this past Monday, but, <laughs> What you allowed to happen right here in this very studio last uh, Saturday is unacceptable. I oh, thought we were friends. We I thought you had my back. Uh, I thought that you would step in, and you always walk around. I'm six five. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, Abyss is six seven. I pick and choose my spots. That was not my spot to pick or choose. You had to be Mr. Smartmouth. I was a broadcast journalist. I was performing my job and not walking off or running away like you did, Mr. Brooks. I walked away. I just walked you, The away. equivalent of CM Punk. That's what you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you, you walked out. I walked away. <laughs> this comment comes to us um, in relation to last Saturday's primetime. This comes from J.L. Spencer, who says, and I quote, might I suggest that you guys start reviewing some independent promotions no. like Ring of Honor or Chikara? I truly believe if you gave the, wrestling, nope. the general wrestling fans some information Absolutely about these smaller not. companies, especially Ring of Honor, they would be more inclined to watch them. I'm not going to talk about, we'll talk about Ring of Honor, but. You may not realize it, but you have a pretty big audience and could help the wrestling industry by reviewing the smaller companies. You want to know something? I, of course, Great Lakes Championship Wrestling, uh -huh. independent wrestling company, it's just so petty. I mean, every, mean, everybody works for everybody. Everybody slams. I, I just, I'm not going to put the time and the effort into helping out other independents. It is our duty to report on professional if wrestling. If there's news, which we will, if there's exactly, something which is exciting. What we do when Ring of Honor happens. And by the way, Ring of Honor, big announcement, returning to internet pay-per-view for their shows where they're partnering with New Japan but Pro Wrestling. But there is no reason to bother mentioning that Al Snow and Armando Estrada had an amazing Milwaukee street fight last week. No reason to mention there that. There is a reason to mention it. That to our Scotty Too Hotty, I'm putting over the company here. But you just said there's no reason to spend time on petty shows. That's what you just I'm said. I'm not saying that my show was petty. But, you know, I'm just saying there's, there's so many. Where do you start and where do you, be, where do you end? Ring of Honor is a good start. The, uh, they're Shikara, not independent. Which we don't talk about. Exactly. And Chikara, we don't talk about. Shimmer, the female wrestling organization, is also good. There's a lot. Well, first of all, the reason we don't talk about Chikara is I can't pronounce the names. I can't. Maybe we'll call Joey Eastman. You know Joey. Ah, he's in the studio. He's a Chikara guy. Hmm, that could be fun. Well, it could be. He's entertaining. Congratulations, J. L. Spencer. You know Spencer. he's going to be a dad. You know that. Yeah, congratulations to him. You are the winner of this week's uh, T-shirt, free T-shirt, courtesy of ProWrestlingTees.com. Check your YouTube email for details on how you can redeem that prize. Every week, somebody wins a free T-shirt. How on, on Feedback Friday? How the laws aren't that enforced in New Hampshire for Joey Eastman to be allowed to fornicate to have a kid? What law isn't being enforced well, in New Hampshire? Something should be. He's going to be a dad. He's crazy. That has been Feedback Friday, ladies and gentlemen. We will be with you again tomorrow night for Primetime Wrestling, where we take a look at 
Well, we go in depth and try to figure out why there is absolutely, in my opinion at least, no buzz, no hype surrounding WrestleMania 30, which is next Sunday on pay per view. We it is go next in Sunday. depth on that, exactly. Uh, tomorrow night on primetime on demand, pwrshow.com and youtube.com. And also, must you sit there and click that pin? Are you kidding me? You Are you that? kidding me? You heard that? That's all I hear. This? You're not supposed to play with toys. Put it away. We got you new toys here. Squeeze that. Is that, is, and it's that quiet. You? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's amazing. That's fantastic. Yes. What are these called? That's, they're called stress balls. Or D's nuts. For that one, ladies and gentlemen, this is Damian Nelson. We'll see you tomorrow night on primetime, Saturday night. D as in Damian or D as in Dave? D as in D's. I'll go back to the better.